Akon just backed President Trump. This is some very encouraging news. And to add the icing on the cake, Akon is a Muslim. I guess he sees through the media's lies and realizes that this temporary ban is not an attack on Muslims, but a prevention of terrorism. Akon said Trump is by far the most courageous president ever. And that took some courage on Akon's part. And I think we all have to commend him for that. Akon joins the short list of rappers to back the president. That list includes Kanye West and Azalea Banks. Now, we have to understand that Akon sees through what uh, the liberals expect from him. Just because he's black and Muslim doesn't mean he's going to support Hillary Clinton. It doesn't mean he's going to oppose Trump. Everyone has their own opinions. Everyone is individuals. That is what the problem was with the left this election. They focused on identity politics. They saw minorities as minorities and not individuals. They thought they would automatically be with the Democratic Party. But that was not the case. These minorities liked what Trump had to say. They liked that he spoke to the audience without a filter. He was speaking directly to the people and still continues to do so today. Now, there's not many celebrities that back Trump. And I think a lot of that has to do with fear. Fear of being exposed. Also, they're, they're spoon-fed, these lies, just as the rest of the people are. So they don't get to hear Trump's real message. They hear what the Democrats want them to hear. But there are some celebrities that had the courage to speak their mind. Those include Kanye West, Akon Now, Azalea Banks, Steve Harvey, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, you know, uh, Angelina Jolie's father, John Voigt, and many more. Well, I shouldn't say many, but a couple more. Hopefully, Akon's courage will inspire more to read into what Trump has to say and not just accept what CNN or MSNBC is spoon-feeding to them. Hopefully they'll look into his policies and realize that they're not just filled with hate and that they have a reasoning behind them and that his interest is with the American people. It's not without to say that he's perfect because nobody is. Nobody's perfect. And when Trump makes a mistake, I'll be there to criticize him. But until then, we have to hope he succeeds. We have to hope for the best. We can't hope he fails, and we can't continue to call him out on things that are not even facts. We can't say he's Putin's puppet, as I said earlier, because he's absolutely not. We have to grow as a nation, and we have to unite and not divide. Oh, so annoying.